الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين الامام مسلم رحمه الله تعالى استدل الحديث عن ذاتي ابي مريم ان اسوء المنشنز بين ان الرجل بين رجل يمشي The occupant. There was a man who was walking in a barren strip of land, and he heard or he saw in the sky a sahaba, a cloud, and he heard a voice emit from that cloud saying, "Isti, al dafuna." Go and irrigate the garden of so and so, and immediately the Sahaba it went in that direction, or it went in a certain direction, and the man followed. And that cloud it stopped over a rocky tract of land and rained. On that land. Now, obviously, if rain goes on a rocky tract of land, does the water get absorbed? No. But what it'll do is it'll flow off until it finds land that what where water has burrowed channels, and that's what it did. Only all of that water that it collected in that rocky tract, it all gathered in one channel. And that channel led it away in a different direction. So the man he followed that rock, he followed that track until he came across a man who was in the middle of a garden with a spade, redirecting that water to irrigate his land. So when the man came across that man, he said. Ya Allah, Messenger. He said, "Oh, so and so, what is your name?" So the man told him his name. Then he asked him. He said, "Why did you ask me my name?" He said, "Because I was off in the distance and I heard a cloud, and from that cloud I heard a voice that said, 'Isti Allah for that,' and it was your name." So he said, "Fama tasnau fiha." He said, "So, what do you do in this land? What is it that you do in this land?" And as a consequence of it, you are getting this barakah. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is attentive to you and to your land to the extent that He tells a cloud to go and give water to your land. What is it that you're doing? So the man said, "He said, since you asked me like that." I'll tell you. Meaning, normally I don't tell people anything about this. I keep this a secret. But since you're telling me this information, this background information, I'm going to tell you my secret. He said. He said, whenever the time to harvest comes, angul ila ma yachuj minha. I look at whatever I've harvested from this land, and a third of it. I give in a sadaqa. A third of it, I and my family consume, and a third of it I reinvest in the land so that I can do what? so I can have another crop. Brothers and sisters, this hadith teaches us a few things. One of them it teaches us the importance of prioritizing. A sadaqa. Notice the man when he asked him. He said, "Ma la tasnau o fa fa ma tasnau fiha." What is it that you do? He said, "He said, 'Fa inni anzur ila ma yahruj minha, fa atasadqu thulutha." Or yeah, he says. So I give a third of it in charity. The first thing he mentioned was what <coughs> was a sadaqa. 
He divides it into three parts. A third of it he consumes. A third of it he reinvests. But he didn't start with those two thirds. He started with a sadaqah. It shows that he prioritized. One of the reasons he got the barakah from Allah subhanahu is because he prioritized a sadaqah. He made it a priority. He made his deen, his religion, a priority. He made his hereafter a priority. As if he understood that the real life, the real land I need to be tilling, the real house I need to be building is the house in what? In the hereafter. That's the real life, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. Indeed, the life hereafter, that's the real life. The life you're willing to be concerned with, and you show, you can see he was really concerned with that life because he prioritized it. At the Sattahu Sunuza. I give a third of it in charity. The second thing is he said, I do this one. Once in a lifetime? I <laughs> said. Every harvest, I do this. Udawim al sadaqah. I make giving charity my regular practice. And this is important because one of the ways we get barakah, one of the things that makes our deeds more pleasing to Allah is when we do them with consistency. Lots of people, what they do is they try to do one big thing once. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. But the Prophet said in the hadith, أَحَبُّ الْأَعْمَالِ إِلَى اللَّهِ أَتْوَمُهَا وَإِنْ وَيَنْقَدْ The deeds that Allah loves the most are the ones you do consistently even if they are what? Small. And this is important. We don't have to give a hundred thousand dollars in charity. We don't have to do that. If we could do that, that's great. But if we give ten dollars in charity every day, every week, Every month, that's more beloved to who? Allah. أَحَبُّ الْأَعْمَالِ إِنَ اللَّهِ أَتْوَمُهَا وَإِنْ وَإِنْ قَلْ The most beloved deeds to Allah are the ones you do consistently, even if they're few. If you, he did it consistently. It wasn't something he did every now and again. Every harvest, he what? He gave sadaqah. He dedicated part of it to a sadaqah. Last but not least, last but not least, this hadith teaches us that sadaqah is a cause for our wealth, the wealth that we earn with our blood, sweat, and tears, with our stubborn effort, that sadaqah we give puts blessing in that money and makes it grow. It makes us richer. Unlike many of us, some of us who think if I give away sadaqah, it makes me poor or no, it makes you richer. Like this man. Allah kept what? Giving him water to irrigate his crop, to have a better crop, to give more sadaqah. As the Prophet said in the hadith, ma naqasat sadaqatun the man. That charity has never decreased anyone's wealth. Charity has never made a person poor. It only makes you rich. We have to understand this. Look at this man minding his business in the middle of his garden with a spade. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made sure that he had water to irrigate his crop so his crop would grow. Why? Because every time he had a harvest, he would separate his harvest into three parts and give a third of it in sadaqah. Something we need to be mindful of and pay attention to in this month, which is the month of Al-Jub Al-Karam, the month of generosity. As the Prophet Nuh Abbas he said, "Can the views of Salam Ajwal Mayakum or can an Ajwal Mayakum be Ramadan?" That the Prophet was the most generous of people, and he was the most generous he would ever be in the month of Ramadan. We need to remind ourselves in this month not to what, not to hold back, but to give, and that giving will not make us poor; it will bring us more and more barakah throughout throughout the year. Hadam Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sallam. Wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.